Hello, I'm Paco the Parrot. Let me tell you something about my family. We, the macaws, are the biggest amongst all parrot species. In the deepest rainforest with its many different animals that are hard to recognize in the thick green canopy, our colorful plumage makes us stand out. Parrots live in many parts of the world. In southern and central America, the southern half of the African continent, and some parts of Asia and Australia, although there are no wild birds living in Europe. However, there's one thing we all have in common, a bent beak. According to the size of the parrot, it's either big or small. This Kia's beak is quite straight, just like the pescat parrot's one, who's our cousin from New Guinea. He seems to be more like a bird of prey and is considered to be a sort of primitive parrot. Most people think that the macaws are the most typical parrot species. Our colorful and striking feathers get us into a lot of trouble. Many macaws are chased and captured just because they're as beautiful as I am. Thanks to intensive feather care. To survive in the jungle, we had to figure out some tricks. If there's not enough room to fly, we climb. To move ahead, I may use my strong beak as if it were a hand. This ability is unique to parrots, and no other bird can do it. But it's not the only trick I know. I can open even the hardest nut, holding it with one of my feet. Using my fleshy tongue, I turn the pieces of food around in my beak. And while one of my feet holds the nut, the other keeps me steady on the branch. These ones are delicious. Although my smaller cousins in Australia, the lorries, whose feathers shine in many different colors, prefer a different kind of food. Therefore, their beak is much smaller. They prefer soft fruit, for example, those from palm trees. Well, they're much easier to eat. The lorry's tongue is longer and thinner than ours and can hardly be seen while they eat. Some of my cousins of the cockatoo family from Australia live in pine forests and feed on the pine nuts that grow there. Just like human beings, each parrot species has their own tastes and preferences, depending on their origin and on what nature offers them. Oh, and speaking of family, we're very sociable animals and can't bear loneliness. We choose our partners very carefully. following the habits of our ancestors. When we mate, it's for life. Sometimes we have our arguments, but usually they don't last long. We like being nice to each other, and even the giant beaks can be very loving and tender. When we fall in love, we preen each other's plumage. Only some partners resemble each other as much as the hyacinth macaws do. The gangang cockatoo is a species where only the male has a small red crest on top of his head. 
even though the female's plumage is red and the male's is green, those two belong to the same species. Most of the pairs make their nests in empty tree trunks. Up here in the abundant tree foliage, the chicks are safe. As with all other baby birds, parrot chicks aren't that attractive until their feathers grow, which usually happens after several weeks. And very soon, this ugly little duckling will turn into a beautiful parrot. When we spread our wings to fly, it's true poetry in motion. You have to watch it in slow motion. Isn't that impressive? To attract people's attention, we yell. Each parrot has his own vocalization, but the most important thing is to make a lot of noise. The cockatoos also lift their crest when they're excited. When the macaws get angry, their feathers stand on end and their faces blush so that everybody knows what's up. However, the tiny lorries have to try a little harder to be taken seriously. I hope that you now know a bit more about our huge family. Perhaps we can sometimes be seen as slightly comical birds, but underneath our colourful exterior, we're very sensitive. So please, be nice to us. Bye-bye.